Hello and welcome to another basic tutorial of Affinity Photo. Just to remind you guys, this tutorial is specifically made for those who have absolutely no idea or very little knowledge about Affinity Photo. So if you are expert in this particular software, I recommend you to look for some kind of advanced tutorials that are available by some other great people who are making tutorials. This tutorial is focused on those who are starting out. So anyway, if you would like to refresh your memory, of course, you're more than welcome to stay and keep watching. Uh, moving on. Now, in this particular tutorial, I'm going to show you where are the auto modes of Affinity Photo. Affinity Photo has four buttons right on top here. And the first one from the left is auto labels, it's character labels, followed by auto contrast, auto colors, and auto white balance. You have those buttons here. If you don't have them, you should have them in the filters. Generally, they are in under the color. So if you go to filter, then color, then you have all those available. Let's see what they do. Generally, they don't give you perfect photographs but they will give you a base based on Affinity Photo algorithm. Um, I personally don't use it, but if you want to have some quick and dirty tutorials, you're more than welcome to try them on. I'm going to go one at a time, see what they do. First of all, I'm going to try on auto white balance, but before you try them, you have to select the layer first, which I didn't do just earlier. So you select the layer and then you do auto white balance you mark them this is what you have done and now i'm gonna click it and see what it does as you can see it did something it made it look a little cooler personally i like the foreground a bit more cooler however i like the sun to be as warm as possible so this is where the affinity photo comes but i will show them into the future videos but not in this one this one we're going to try on all the auto modes so this is the auto white balance now I'm going to create another duplicate layer and we're going to try the auto color. Let's see what it does. To be honest, it didn't do much. As you, as you can tell, like I'm, I'm clicking on and off. It did not do a very amazing job here. So I'm kind of disappointed. Uh, maybe the Affinity Photo algorithm thinks that colors are right and you don't need to change much. Who knows? Um, so that's what the color does. Um, I'm quite disappointed though, however, I have to say. Anyway, the color auto. So just to mark it on so that I didn't mix it up. Followed by the third layer, I'm going to duplicate that one. And then the third one, I'm going to try the auto contrast. Auto con. So that's my layer where, let's try this now. Well, it did a pretty good job. Uh, photo now looks quite punchy. Um, it did a good job separating uh, different colors. We have the nice sky, but not all flat. Then you have the sun standing out, the clouds are standing out, and the foreground are dark, but not too dark, which is brilliant. So I'm happy with auto contrast result in this particular trial. And now the final one, again, as usual, I'm going to try the, I'm going to create a duplicate layer and then mark it to auto level. Auto level. So now it's done. So let's see what it does. Generally auto level and auto contrast, they more or less uh, does the same job. But right now for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to try it on anyway. So let's see. Right. So as you can tell that Again, it didn't do a crazy, amazing job. Why? Let me show you why. I mean, it did make it look a bit punchier, as you can tell, that it's standing out each color and contrast, they're more standing out than the auto contrast. So you can try it out on its own. What I believe though, if I didn't use the auto contrast, then auto label would have done a better job because auto label and auto contrast, they both somehow related to each other similar the auto color and auto white balance they are somehow related to each other because their both job is to work on color one with the auto white balance how warm or cold the photograph should be other one is overall rgb so they are not far from each other so that's probably the reason why when i tried the first one the second one didn't work i welcome you to try them on and as i said 
um, you wouldn't want to use Affinity Photo just to try the auto modes. Uh, I welcome you to try all the layers, but this should give you a basic base at the very beginning, and then you can continue doing your editing. I'll see you in the next video. Have a wonderful day. Bye bye.